I'm ringing. He doesn't answer. Shall I take a message? Hi, my name is Tony, and this is Every Frame of Painting. Oh, uh, Sydney. Later. There's a quote that I love from Alexander McKendrick. He said, what a film director really directs is the audience's attention. Directing is a matter of emphasis. You emphasize what is important. JJ, I need you in for two minutes. Mac. Yes? By underemphasizing what is less so. I don't want this man at my table. I've got a message from your assistant. These days, most directors create emphasis by cutting from close-up to close-up to close-up. But too much coverage is exhausting, especially for the actors. I say, oh, so now you're going to be a mechanic. So you shoot master, close, close, closer, over, over, over. <laughs> I go hard line and go, look, I'm not going to do that because you've already got everything you need to tell the audience what they need to know about what's happening here. So today, let's consider a different option. Instead of standard coverage, let's put all the actors in the same frame and let them perform together. In other words, let's talk about ensemble staging. Ensemble staging is all about creating emphasis without using a cut. The first thing to remember is that we naturally look at whoever's speaking and whoever's being spoken to. This is often combined with the second technique. If someone is more important, put them closer to the light or closer to the lens. If you want someone to be less noticeable, move them further away, maybe out of focus. Of course, attention is relative. Sometimes you can get the audience to look at something even when it's out of focus. by having it move. We're especially aware when somebody moves their hands or moves their eyes. You can also guide the audience by putting something close to the center of the frame. In fact, this is one of the film's running jokes. Characters in the middle of the shot who keep attacking the suspects. Which brings us to number five, the body position of the actors. How are the characters turned in relation to the lens? Do we see their whole face or three quarters? Is it a profile or another angle where we don't see the face at all? When you have multiple actors in a shot, it's important to have some variation. If the audience doesn't need to look at a character right now, turn him around. Notice how by doing this, you're creating contrast. The three cops on the right face each other while Detective Seo looks elsewhere. In fact, for the first half hour, he's constantly placed away from the main group, looking at documents that everyone else is ignoring. This brings us to number seven. <laughs> Subtly moving the camera. Here, watch how the shot narrows our focus from four characters <laughs> down to two. While here, our attention moves from one side of the argument to the other side before settling on the eventual winner. And last of all, don't forget that human beings are social creatures. We look where other people are looking. So with all that, let's consider why Bong Joon-ho would stage something as an ensemble. This is my favorite shot in the entire film. At first, we think it's one story an argument between two cops. And Bong seems to do very little. He just lets our attention move from Detective Park yeah. to Detective Sale. <laughs> but in the center of frame, something catches our eye. And we realize another character, Detective Cho, is making out with a hostess in the back. So now we have two stories, foreground and background. And Bong plays them against each other to contrast the serious <laughs> <laughs> with a silly. As the scene builds, he slowly pushes the camera in, which hides the two women and focuses our attention on the main pair. <laughs> and he lets the actors use their hands to tell the story, especially when the argument reaches its breaking point. <laughs> but suddenly, the chief enters the scene. <laughs> 
This is the moment when all the ensemble staging pays off. We have an unexpected third story, and it interrupts both of the others. <laughs> with a joke. From now on, the rest of the scene is the third story, as the chief outlines his plan to catch the serial killer. <laughs> But why do this in one shot? I think it underscores the theme. The first story is a petty argument. The second story is just lust. None of these cops is doing work, they're all being selfish. It's not until the third story that they think about the victims and the case. The chief literally provides the moral center of the frame. And if Bong had shot the scene with coverage, we wouldn't see the connection between the first story and the second. And from both stories to the third. This is the kind of directing that's unbelievably rare today. And it shows the value of playing a scene as an ensemble rather than cutting from one face to another. Because sometimes I just want to stay in that particular place with the actors and let the actors settle it and not let you help me tell the story by getting closer to my face. Just let me do it. Okay.